Hi folks, Darren from We Paint Minis here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a Celestial Vindicator Stormcast Eternal using contrast paints. And I'm going to show you how I do it right now. Let's get to it. I generally sub-assembly my models as I find it's easier to reach places that no one can see because I'm a glutton for punishment. But it's not something you have to do at all, so don't feel like you have to. First off, I prime the model in Corax White Spray. This is a great foundation for applying the paints we're going to be using. Grey Sear would work equally as well, or if you don't have access to a spray can, basing it using a brush is totally fine too. If you've sprayed the model, it is a good idea to check to see if you've missed any areas. If you have, these can be touched up using some Corax White out of the pot. When you're happy that the model is covered, grab a medium base brush and paint all the areas you want to be metallic with storm hose silver. This includes the armour, shoulder pad trim, shield, sword and scale armour on the dangly crotch flag. You might ask, but what is the point of using contrast paint if we're going to be using metallics? That's a valid question indeed, but whilst this might sound counterproductive, the end result is amazing and you will only ever have to mess about with one metallic paint rather than several. Grab some Achillean Green, a medium base brush and begin to apply the contrast paint onto the armour a panel at a time. This allows you to control how much paint you are applying to the model as well as helping avoid those tide marks you often get with using paints like these. Just take your time with this and remember you can correct the not so neat bits with Corax White or Stormhost Silver after you've finished. Already that iconic green-blue armour of the Celestial Vindicators is looking awesome. Next, with some Nazdrig Yellow, do the same as the previous step, but this time over all the areas you want to be gold. I love this colour, the result it gives over Stormhost Silver is perfect. Again, take your time and tidy up after if needed. Do any of you folks use contrast paints? If so, what ways do you use them and what colours are your favourite? Let me know in the comments section below. With Saigor Brown, and I recommend a small layer brush with this part, paint all the leather areas. This includes the straps around the arms, the shield strap and the under armour. I even painted the leather flappy things that sit under the shoulder pads because I'm a crazy person. You don't have to do that if you don't want to though. Some models may have more leather areas than others, so be sure to take a good look over it before you are finished with this colour. They can be sneaky. Again, with a small layer brush, apply some Blood Angels Red to the red leather straps hanging from its waist, as well as the dangly crotch flag. I think it would have been a bit better to use Flesh Terror Red for this rather than Blood Angels Red, as I prefer the tone it has, but I still think it looks okay. Now use some Skeleton Horde to paint all the parchment areas as well as on the little skull next to his foot. My word this paint is sublime. This is pretty much the same result as Rakar Flesh and Agrax Earthshade or Seraphim Scipia in one glorious stroke. Basilicanum Grey for all the silvery metallic areas like the sword blade, the scale armour and the overcompensating lightning bolts on his shield. 
Remember, if you apply too much contrast paint, you can wick the excess back up with a wet brush. The helmet plume gets a good soak of Volupus pink, another awesome colour. I hope I'm selling these paints, they are cool to use and fun to paint with. If you aren't happy with the vibrancy of the colour you just applied, you can go over it again to intensify it and create darker shadows. The shoulder pads and the cloak then get a good coat of apothecary white. Make sure you try to be as quick as you can with the cloak, as these areas are prone to tide marking if taken too long. But don't be too quick either so you don't get it on the other parts. Useful tip there Darren, useful. Once you've applied the apothecary white, you can call the model done if you wanted a quick paint job. All the contrast paints are on and the armour looks metallic. I would be happy with this if I was going to paint an army this way, but if you want to take it to the next step further, particularly if you're painting a showpiece or a HQ model, hopefully the next steps will help. Just a quick FYI, for the remaining steps I do not use any other brush other than a small layer brush. Grab some white scar and add an edge highlight around the pronounced areas of the cloak and the shoulder pads. We already have a shadow and a mid-tone, so you can just simply highlight here. As I mentioned earlier, I wasn't too happy with the red. I feel like it didn't give me enough contrast between the shadows and the mid-tone. So in order to make it a little bit more bearable, I did a mid-tone highlight of Evil Sun Scarlet, followed by an edge highlight of Wild Rider Red. I added a few scratches in there as well. It turned out okay, but again, wish I went for the Flesh Terror Red instead. With Gorefall Brown, Stipple highlight the raised areas of the leather parts. This technique is pretty much the same one I use for all my leather. I find it gives a nice aged worn look. If it's not your thing and you want to just block that highlight in and go for it. Use some Yushabdi bone to highlight the parchment and skulls. I love how these turned out, I think they look really, really cool. Simple, but effective. What storm host would you like to see painted this way next? Let me know in the comments below. Then coming in with some Fulgrim Pink to edge highlight the thick strands of hair on the plume. Mm -hmm. Again, because we use contrast paints, the shadows and the midtones are already there, so you can just straight highlight, it really works.
Then onto the bit I had the most fun with and what took me the longest, highlighting the armour. Grab your Stormhost Silver and go as nuts or as subtle as you want. I decided to highlight all the edges because why not? You don't see many battle damage Stormcast and would hazard a guess that they get pretty beat up by the forces of chaos, death and destruction. Ultimately do as much or as little as you feel comfortable with or happy with. And there we have it, a Stormcast Eternal painted in the scheme of the Celestial Vindicator Stormhost, ready to face the hordes of chaos, death and destruction, using well, mostly contrast paints. Painting your minis in just contrast paints can be a faster way of completing models if you are confident in using them, but you can also use them alongside your other techniques to get some awesome looking results. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I encourage you to give it a go with your own models. I just wanted to give a shout out to Heath from Hobby Time in the Murder Basement for letting me use his awesome music. Heath does an awesome podcast here on YouTube where he interviews members of the hobby community. I will leave a link to his channel and Bandcamp in the description below. All that is left for me to do is say thank you to each and every one of you for watching. It really does mean a lot. Thank you once again and don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell to never miss a video and I'll catch you next time.